Blessed good morning, sunshine family. Peace, love, and blessings to each and every one. If you're that man or that woman and you're going through a little rough patch in your life, or if you're that person and you're going through some personal issue in your life, don't be afraid to put it at the center of God's throne. Yes, beloved. Someone needs to understand, beloved, that whatever you're going through internally and externally in one's life, don't be afraid to dash your burden on God. You see, God is powerful and strong enough. God is a mighty warrior. And God is able to take on our burden, guys, right? And it's good, beloved, to dash your burden on God because God cares for someone, right? Yes, I have a beautiful word of encouragement for someone. Indeed, if you're that man or that woman watching me today, beloved, and you're living your life in doubt, you're living your walk, with God in doubt. If you're that man or that woman and you're going through some personal deep issue in your life, beloved, right? Yes, whether it's spiritually, financially, psychologically, emotionally, and you are having some doubt, I want to encourage someone that is living their life in doubt, right? If you're a person and you're living your life in doubt because you have not found a job yet. You're living your life in doubt because you find a job, but you're not sure about it as yet. You're a person and you've just gone into a relationship, right? Yes. And you're living your life in doubt. I want to encourage someone today. Yes. I want to say to somebody, do not live your life in doubt, guys, right? In a minute sense, you live your life in doubt because if you live your life in doubt, then that means to say you're setting yourself up to fail. You're setting yourself up to doom, guys. When you're a person and you live your life in doubt, it's like you're holding back oneself internally and externally, guys. It's like you can't be free because you're living in doubt. So someone needs to understand. Do not live your life in doubt, guys. What I mean by this, well, let's see in James 1 verse 6 to 7, guys. And it says, but let him keep asking in faith, not doubting at all. For the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven by the wind and blow about. In fact, that man should not expect to receive anything from Jehovah. Right? So what the scripture is saying to you as a man, you as a woman in James 1 verse 6 to 7, it is saying to somebody today that when you're a person and you live your life in doubt, right? Yes, Right? It's like you have no faith. So faith, guys, is no action. When you're a person, you have no faith. That means you're not going to take any action. And that's why, guys, because you're living your life in doubt, you have no faith at all. And when you're a person, you have no faith, then you're not going to take no action in your life. You're not going to take no action in your life to wanting to find a job, to find something better to do. <laughs> Excuse me. The enemy never wants somebody to hear that, guys. The enemy never wants someone to hear that. Mighty God, I rebuke that. I cancel that. I bind it up. In the name of Jesus. Right? Yes, this message is going to set someone free indeed. Beloved, when you live your life in doubt, that means you have no faith. And when you have no faith, you're not going to take any action. Because faith without works is dead, guys. And believe you me, guys, you see, those persons who get up and they create things, you know, for themselves in life, right? It's because they have faith, right? It's because they have faith. That's why they keep on taking action in one's life. And that's why, guys, in a make no sense, on a give up in life, in a make no sense, on a go on, on a journey and say, I'm go look at a job and then have doubt in it. I'm not going to get through. I'm not going to feel. I'm not going to bound to feel, guys. Right? Yes. So, beloved, do not live your life in doubt. Don't do anything in doubt. Because if you live in doubt and you take steps in doubt, you are bound to fall on your face, guys. Right? Yes. Because hear what God say. Right? In fact, that man should not expect to receive anything from Jehovah. So should, when you're a person, you live your life in doubt, you should not expect to receive anything from God because you're not going to get anything from God because you go about your life journey with doubt, guys. Remember, even if your faith as small as mustard seed faith, God will do it. What I mean, it means, guys, 
that even if your faith is as small as mustard seed, you will receive the blessings from God, guys. So if you're a person and you get up this morning, or you get up tomorrow, or you get up next week, or next month, or next year, and you get up with the mindset of having doubt to go and look at a job, having the mindset of you know, being doubtful while you're in your job, same way that you're not going to get any promotion, then so it's going to be, guys. So it's going to be. So a man think it. So is he, guys. Right? Yes. So don't live in doubt, son of God, that's of God. Don't do nothing in doubt. Because if you do anything in doubt, as God say in James 1, verse 6 to 7, you're not going to receive anything from God, guys. And that's a fox. Right? Yes. So... Someone needs to shake up themselves, rearrange their mindset. Yes, beloved, ask God to do a divine intervention into your mind, thoughts, guys, and renew your spirit, renew your mindset, guys, so you don't think about doubt none at all when you get up and you need to do what you need to do in life, guys. Right? Yes, as a matter of fact, let me pray for someone who is having this spirit of doubt around them in the name of Jesus Mighty God of Daniel, King of King, Lord of Lord, the conquering line of Judah. Father, I pray, O oh God, for this man, this woman that is listening to me right now, Father, who is living their life in doubt. Everything that they do, they doubt it, God. Father, I pray, O oh God, to remove the spirit of doubt out of this man, mind, out of this woman, mind, right now, in the name of Jesus. Fill their thoughts, fill their mind with positivity, Father. Renew their mindset. Renew their spirit in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask, oh God, that you transform this man's mind, this woman's thoughts, this woman mindset in the name of Jesus and rearrange it, oh God. Revitalize their mind, oh God. Revitalize their thoughts thoughts pattern, revitalize your overall being as a man, as a woman, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask, O oh God, that you resurrect them right now in the name of Jesus. Resurrect them, O oh God, to start thinking positively about who they are, about their life journey in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask, O oh God, that you cover them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Beloved, you are set free indeed. Whoever is listening to me right now and you're living your life in doubt, you, 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 you get up and you're just having doubt. I want you to understand, beloved, that you see in life, guys, is how we think is what we receive at the end of the day, guys. It is as clear as crystal. How you think is what you get. What you put out is what you get. What you do is what you get, guys. That's a cycle of life, guys, right? Yes, so think positively and encouraging someone who normally doubt their life journey, who normally get up and go about their business in doubt. Let me tell you, beloved, reframe your mind. Think positively about who you are and see how your life change around for the ultimate good of you, son of God, you daughter of God. All right, read James 1, verse 6 to 7. Meditate on the scripture and apply it in one's life indeed. Remember, guys, if you're a person and you don't know how to read, it's fine. There is no shame in the game. Download the Bible app. I'm encouraging someone today to download the Bible app and put in your favorite um, Bible verse, guys, and it will read for you if you don't know how to read. Have a blessed and a wonderful day. Thank you. Blessings. Thank you.